What is up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to download MCPE maps onto your iOS device. And everything that I have in this video, I will have a link to it in the description so you can download it for yourself. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. So there are two websites that I actually recommend, and the first one is this one right here, which is MCPE Hub. And it actually lets you download maps, skins, or whatever you actually want. So you can just scroll upon the maps and, you know, download whatever you like. But you can also use this one right here, which is MSPEDL, and you can just scroll over the Maps tab, and it'll have a variety of maps you can download. But I actually have a map that's already I already selected for this video. So, as you can see, I downloaded the Swipe Out map, and you can actually just scroll down to the actual uh, page, I guess, and it'll have this either download to MSPEDL or, MSO, or download to Dropbox. Now, sometimes it doesn't actually show that, and actually shows just download by itself. And you can click on it, and uh, I clicked on MCPEDL, uh, the download, and it actually just refreshed the page. And you can just re-click it again, so that's what I did right here. I clicked it again, and then sometimes it'll open an advertisement, as you can see maybe right here. And then, maybe not. Okay, but you can see at the bottom right corner, uh, there's a little, or the bottom left corner, uh, it's downloading the map right there. So I'll be right back once it's actually downloaded. Next, you'd have to open an app called iExplorer, and if I can find a download link to it, I will post it in the description. If not, you guys will actually have to look for this yourself. Uh, anyways, it'll open the app, and you'll have to go... You can ignore the actual part where it says buy now, and just go ahead and click on the demo version of it. So, you're going to click on it, and it's going to go ahead and go and open all your phone information, just like iTunes would. And, um, so I'm going to blur it all this right here because it shows information. So, yeah. Then you're going to have to go into the Apps tab, and then you're going to click on it twice, of course. And you're going to go onto the Minecraft, or Minecraft PE tab. And then you're going to click it again. And then it's going to open, like, all the internals of the app, I guess you could say. And then you're going to go ahead and click on Games. Then you go to com.mojang, and then the Worlds. You click on that, of course. Then you're going to go ahead, and it's going to show you all the uh, maps that you downloaded, or maps that you already had. You're going to go ahead and... Uh, drag the map you'd previously downloaded onto your desktop, and you're going to have to have RINRAR for this part right here. And you have to click on that file, and it's going to open the actual zip file, and you're just going to drag the um, map, so the folder. So let's get rid of this. You're going to drag that folder onto the uh, iExplorer uh, page. So you guys can see right here, I'm going to actually just drag it down, and it's going to start loading. So behind this, there's a little green thing at the bottom of that so you can see that's loading and then once it's done you're just you're done basically so I will be right back and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the Minecraft app alright so I'm on Minecraft PE now and I'm gonna go ahead and open the map to show you guys so if you guys can see right here it has Wipeout by Chris I'm gonna click on it and this is pretty much the map I just downloaded so as you guys can see it's actually in creative mode and this is the actual map that I showed you guys uh, in the video previously so you guys can see it actually has everything, um, pretty much like a wipeout map, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I just broke something. It's okay, we'll ignore it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You guys can see it's fully working. Um, all the works, like, it's all working, so that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial, and, yeah, if you guys want more tutorials and such, just be sure to comment down below, and I'll try my best to get everything that you guys want done, I guess? Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Why does this work, but I can't play without Wi-Fi for 0 0.15? Like, you know, this, this sucks. Honestly, this sucks.